11th year of the tournament. It originally started as the Minnow Widows Weekend. It was supposed to be a women's tournament because we figured all the men would be out at fishing opener because it's held on fishing opener every year. But it never truly ran as a women's tournament. Um, the first year, they ended up with twice the amount of men's team as the women's team. And it's kind of maintained that level throughout its history. We have since evolved into a 128 team tournament this, this past year. Four years, five years? Longer, I Maybe. think. It, we, I, we've done the walleye shop for years and years. We actually won a few years ago when you gave up the little bobber grills. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have a bobber grill. It's high, it's high level, even at the bottom recreational levels. You've got college and high school players, so it's high level hockey. It's fun, but everyone's out to just have a good time. Plus, you get the Canadians who come down, and they make everything fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And some Florida teams, yeah. Michigan teams, all over. Did I mention that we tied the Canadians today? Um, yeah. We had teams this year representing two countries, both Canadian and U.S., and we had teams from eight different states in the U.S. Minnesota, Wisconsin, as far as Missouri, and Florida was the farthest this year. This tournament is uh, it's, it's really catching on, and our guys love to be out here. Um, and it's, it's been competitive, and uh, you know, this, I don't know, whatever it started, we were here. And uh, like I say, it's, it's fun to actually play a Canadian team, and there, it was a good, good, clean game, and it was a lot of fun. So, we, you know, we just love it. It's all about getting around, talking to other people. Well, actually, you're inside for one hour playing hockey, and then you're outside the entire day. This, this is the most fun weekend of the entire year. It really is. It's not so much the hockey on the ice as it is what happens off the ice. The tailgating, the bands that are here, the fish fry, all these things that are just little things that not any other tournament really has. I mean, some tournaments have elements of it, but maybe not all of it all at once. And the fact that we can host such a large tournament with so many teams, one facility, one weekend, is huge. About three years ago, we embraced the fact that people are going to tailgate at our facility. So three years ago, we held our first King of the Blacktop contest. The criteria for the King of the Blacktop trophy is food, atmosphere, games, and attendance. And quite honestly, as long as the weather holds out, it's, it's not even about the competition. It's about having fun and everybody is enjoying themselves thoroughly. You know, the whole thing is, it's a, the whole picture is that you, you go out and play, you sweat, you work hard, then you come out and you kind of relax and play hard. It, it's a whole whole gamut. So it's not just one piece. If I just had to play hockey, I don't think I'd enjoy it as much because yeah, I get all this stuff because, you know, we're doing the, you know, we're trying to get the tailgating award and I think we won, don't you think? Yeah, so my birthday is usually the same day as Mother's Day and for my birthday present, my kids let me come here to the walleye shop instead of, you know, brunch and presents and things. So this, this, this is a great Mother's Day, it really is.